Book Supervisor has been around since 96. And we use um, donated space in the New York City AIDS Housing Network. We use volunteer labor from um, Book Supervisor members and folks who are passing through town and anybody who wants to help out. And uh, donated books. So all of these books have been donated either by individuals or by publishers. Um, and our only expense is postage money. Books through buyers gets letters from um, people who are in prison. This is our pile. We get requests for specific titles, we get requests for genres, we get requests for subjects. Uh, the idea is to open up the letter, read what people are looking for, and then try and find stuff from our, our shelves, match things up. We're um, one of the groups that sends mostly nonfiction. Um, we specialize in history and social studies and other stuff like that. Although our most requested book, and the most requested book in any of the books to prisoners groups, is dictionaries. English dictionaries, Spanish English dictionaries. Because so many folks on the inside are um, either teaching themselves to read or teaching others to read or um, improving their reading or helping themselves get through legal paperwork or whatever. Um, developing literacy is a huge part of prison life from what we've found. We aren't a charity. We're not a social service organization. The idea isn't to send out whatever people want. It's to, like to be an educational organization. That's the idea. And um, trying to make sure that folks who do want to read into history, read into social studies, read into philosophy, um, find good biographies, find you know, stuff from their country of origin or from you know, other countries, they, they have some place to ask.